Lastly, let's talk about power. The definition of power is the rate of doing work. Power is the work that you have done divided by the time taken or the energy change in an object divided by the time taken to effect the energy change. So you, you can summarize the formula by P is equals to W over T, work done over time taken, or also equals to E over T, energy over time. Myself, I prefer power equals to energy over time. That makes it easier. W represents work done, which is in joules. Energy represents energy transformed, which is also in joules. And T represents the time taken in seconds. The SI unit of power is the watt. The symbol for its SI unit is W. Power is a scalar quantity. Now let's try some questions regarding power. Someone hauls a load weighing 600 newtons through a vertical height of 10 meters in 20 seconds. How much useful work does she do? How much useful work does she do in one second? And what is her power output? Please pause the video here and solve this question. Okay, now let's go through the answers. How much useful work does she do? Work done would be equals to force times the distance moved in the direction of the force. Therefore, the work done will be 600 newtons times 10 meters, getting you 6,000 joules of work. So, how much useful work does she do in one second? She did 6,000 joules of work in 20 seconds. Therefore, in one second, she should have done, on an average, 6,000 joules divided by 20 seconds, giving you 300 joules per second. And finally, let's calculate her power output. Power is equal to energy divided by time. 6,000 joules in total divided by the total time taken will get me a power of 300 volts. So over here, we can see a confirmation of the definition of power. Basically, these two numbers are the same. The power is 300 volts, which is also exactly the same as the amount of work she does in one second. Power will actually be the amount of useful work that you would do per second. A boy conducts an experiment by running up a flight of steps. Each step has a height of 0.2 meters and there are 10 steps. What is his power if he runs up the flight of steps in 5 seconds? His mass is 45 kg and the gravity and the gravitational field strength is 10 newtons per kg. Please pause the video here and solve the question. Okay, let's go through the answer. There are 10 steps, each with 0.20 meters. This would mean that the total height gain would be 2 meters. So the GPE gain is equal to M times G times H, which is 45 times 10 times 2. And that will get me 900 joules of GPE gain. Lastly, what is his power? He has gained 900 joules of GPE in 5 seconds. So power is equal to energy, 900 joules, divided by time taken to do it, 5 seconds. That will give you 900 divided by 5 equals to 180 watts.